Hey everyone, this is Laura, your Jam Jar Junkie. This week, since it is Halloween, we are going to be painting a candy corn themed jar. As you can see, I have the colors picked out that I will be using to paint this jar. I will be using a white, a real orange, and a summer squash. And then we have the clear to seal it when we're done. I really want a darker color than the summer squash. So after I paint it with the summer squash, then I'll go back in and add a little bit of yellow acrylic paint. I'm gonna go ahead and spray about the first third of my jar. If you want nice, crisp, clean lines, you can just put painter's tape around the area that you don't want the paint to go into. I want my colors to spill over onto each other just a little bit to simulate a more realistic candy corn look. So I will not be using any painter's tape. Guys, for some reason, my white spray paint doesn't wanna work. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the middle orange and then we'll go back in and hand paint the white later. It's okay if you get some on the bottom. It does not matter if it bleeds over because we're gonna go back in and spray the bottom of it yellow and then we'll go back in and paint the top white. So it doesn't really matter if your orange bleeds over a little bit. After your orange is dried, you can go ahead and add the white to the top or if you already spray painted your white, you can go ahead and add the yellow. Hey guys, change of plans one more time. The weather outside today at my house is rainy and nasty, so we are not gonna be able to go outside and spray paint the bottom of this yellow like I planned. So we're just gonna have to use some acrylic paint and paint it inside. You want your paint to be just a little uneven, as I was telling you, to make it look more like a real candy corn. couple of things I would consider using this jar for. I would fill it up with candy for Halloween. I think it would be cute to fill it up with candy corn. Another thing you can do is put a pretty bouquet of flowers in it and put it in the center of your table as a centerpiece for Halloween. You can even use this for Thanksgiving. You can also put your silverware, plastic spoons and forks in it. You could also just drop your tea light down inside. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe.